Hello everybody, my name is Ace, and welcome back to Let's Play Hearts of Iron 4. As a CSA, let's continue on from the last time off. So, we're doing pretty well. We're getting the Canadians to finally be on the back foot. I mean, finally. We've, we've had a lot of their territory for a while now. But what I, what I more mean is... We, we should be winning the war against them somewhat soon-ish? I mean, like, the goal right now is rush away towards Vancouver, which we're doing. We're also taking uh, Calgary, Edmonton, all these other major cities along the way. The Pacific States, how many troops do you guys have? Uh, probably about 80 divisions left. Again, we're at a nice solid 200. Which I think, again, is like basically the most you can possibly have. Yes, Romania is now in the war. So yeah, I, again, I, I like Germany is not going to win. Germany cannot fight all of these fronts at the same time. Russia, I wouldn't be surprised if Transmere decided to make like some sort of aggressive play there. But we'll see how much that actually comes to uh, pass. I wonder if that actually makes sense for Red Army. Honestly, you guys stop attacking. Come down to here. And all the blue army, like all of you guys. Just make your way over to uh, where the French have landed. Yeah, just come down to here, please. And that's it. A pretty basic uh, task. We are getting into like the desert and the mountains. So, I mean, this, this for the soldiers actually fighting the war, this is basically like hell on earth. But we're, we're not going to worry about that. Uh, so, I guess one of you guys goes to P Prince George. Because I think that's really the only city you actually have left. I don't think you really have any more territory other than that. Again, other than St. John's. But again, we're not going to St. John's. I don't feel like doing a, uh, doing a naval invasion for no good reason. So casualties are, you know, ever mounting on their side. We're going to lose 100 political power from this, but that's fine. Canada. I, I just need you guys to admit that you have lost. I, I don't think we'll actually enter. We might also need Victoria, so let's also uh, prepare to go on to Vancouver Island. I mean, Mexico, you should be fine. Um, I, I just think it'd be, like, so, so nice if the Entente were to get involved in the Second Weltkrieg. I mean, I guess Mexico could join the Internationale. I don't think they need to be at peace for that, though. They might be. But even then, that's really not so much of an obstacle. Yeah, so let's push all the Canadians back. You're going to come here just fine. Like, how long do you get to Vancouver? 21 days. Not great. I don't think I need to explain that one. Like, that's, that's not a great time. Okay, Pacific States. I, I, ju I just need you to give up. Okay, buddy? How many, how many? I've lost 1.4 mil. I mean, it's mostly against specific states. Canada has inflicted a lot. Like, we've actually got... Canada's killed more of our units than we've killed of theirs, but... I'm not so worried about that um, reality. So once you're in Prince George, come down to uh, Victoria as well. But Canada. Canada, Canada, Canada. Can I do any more of the resistance? Yeah, strike at all these guys still. Combat the terrorist. We could get a little bit, you know what, let's get a little bit more war support. It, it doesn't hurt. At least I don't think it hurts. I wonder if it makes sense for us to actually... Yeah, I think actually, let's spend at least a few days gathering up our strength again. Especially once we take Canada, because that's going to, you know, again, make her life pretty, pretty nice. 
Okay, Prince George is going to fall now. There are some South African units here. South Africa, I'm saying they're... Are they saying volunteers or are they in the faction? No, they are in the faction. Okay. Okay, it looks like you guys have now been defeated. So, I mean, it took longer than I would have liked to deal with the uh, naval invasion problems. But, I mean, overall, it wasn't so, so bad. Uh, I need you to also be moving your way towards uh, Vancouver. Who's landing? Australia's landing troops now. God damn it. We gotta make sure that this does not catch on. Yeah, you guys can just deploy down towards the south. That should be fine. Um, Yellow Army, again, you just kind of hang out for now. Like we're, we're so close. Under normal game circumstances, I like actually, under normal game circumstances, they still wouldn't have actually surrendered yet. But they would be close. They'd be pretty close to surrendering. I hate you. They've taken Philadelphia. They've actually taken some important cities of ours. AI, why do you got to do this to me? Yeah, you're going to come down to Miami. After that, please go up towards the north. Yeah, so th that that should get this situation dealt with. There's also apparently another naval invasion coming in the southeast. I hate naval invasions, honestly. I, I wish they didn't exist. We are still missing 35 entry equipment, but that's, again, not so, so bad. Okay, you're close. Three more days. And maybe we will have victory against the Canadians. I mean, we should. And then, of course, all the Blue Army will end up completely deploy against the Canadian-American border. No, there's not 10%. Victoria's worth 5. Let's get our way down to Seattle and Olympia. Because this is actually going to be a very important front line for us in the future. Yellow Army shouldn't matter too much at that point. You guys are going to deploy your way down to here. Please go to Philadelphia and capture these air... Uh, the, the, the docks. Please take those. ASAP. Okay, so the French here have been defeated. I don't know if I want to... Of course you have troops in Victoria. Why wouldn't you? What if I force attack my way onto the island? Because I think, again, Victoria... I mean, it really should be the final location they have troops in. Or is there another naval invasion coming in? God damn it! Get out of here! You, you frickin' nerds! Oh, look, the French are back. Do they not have anything better to do than to come harass my territory? I guess not. They, they frickin' love it, don't they? That's 78. I need somebody else to come to Victoria. I need you guys to come way down to Seattle. Here's the problem. This is the problem with fighting. You fled Canada. That means you should actually not be in a faction anymore. Does that mean Canada's going to capitulate? Yes, it does. Okay, so the war with Canada has officially ended. At midnight tonight. I got to select every fucking province manually because this menu doesn't work. But that's okay. If it means that we've won, I will take it. I'm, gl I'm glad we've won the war. I, I will say that. Apparently we might still be at war with Alaska. I'm not too sure. And I don't, I don't think you have any more territory, right? Kingdom of Canada. 
These might not actually work, though. Okay, pause game. One second, does Canada still exist? No, that's Cabada. Did I not get rid of Canada as a tag? The King of Canada does still exist. Because they have islands over here! New England. New England also exists. They also have islands over here. Oh, because they annexed these nerds. Um, And I don't think... Yeah, the tool, the save here tool doesn't work in Kaiser Redux, and I don't know why. So I need to reload that save game to make sure I can actually take all that territory. I should have realized when the, the names didn't disappear. But I just didn't know where else it could possibly be. I cannot click the autosave. I cannot click the autosave! So I guess we'll be right back when I can do that. So the game did it. It, it forced me to actually uh, reload, which is probably actually for the best. Now we can actually select some of these options. Chief of Staff. Oh! More attack and defense. Seems pretty good for our infantry divisions. And that, for the most part, seems okay. Can I actually see what your modifier was now? Rally the country. There it is. More recruit population. More surrender limit. I don't like it. I, I will tell you that right now. But in a moment, we should see King Edward flee Canada. There we go. He's now fled. Should allow me to then do a peace treaty. Which is nice. I, I can see another naval invasion, I, and I do not appreciate that even remotely. Apparently, I don't have points to actually take all the territory, though. Take all states. There we go. That actually worked out much better this time. So, you guys here are now, I'm not going to say completely screwed. Because you guys also need a plan here. Not all of you. Some of you guys can be on this front. But I... C I'm, I'm glad at least the war is over. And you guys technically don't have any ports anymore. Because you don't have any ports, I should be able to fight you a lot easier now. Oh, you fools. You have no idea what's coming. I'm going to send you guys up towards here. Thank you. All of these units. Delete any of your old orders. You're now just coming here. And marching your way down south. Okay. Green army is now going to pick up the slack. Move your units here. Yellow army. Your job, I guess, is to move units to this location. For right now. Because I don't like any of these people. Just, just letting you know that. Push against Pacific's front once again. Thank you. And all of you should be on the attack. Like, every single person. If you can't attack, I want you attacking. I... Okay, that's not what I want to do. Half of you... Need to be in a different army. Thank you. And not like that. Just be here. Again, not, this isn't really what I wanted it to do. But that's what it is right now. Yeah, it looks like we've... Yeah, that's actually going to be a lot of Entente deaths. Lovely, lovely stuff. Let's go here. You should be killed off. Okay. So now that everything, I think... I also need to turn off Fog of War, of course. You guys attack. Go to Seattle, Olympia, Portland, Salem. Please scroll. <laughs> what's, what's happening with guys? I don't know. I don't understand Kaiser Redux. That, that, that's my uh, defense of what's happening. Is that sometimes it acts a bit weird and I don't know really why. Uh, what do we want to do next? Probably. You know, Liberty Ships. Makes our uh, ships a little bit cheaper. I see no reason why not to go for that one. Yeah, like, the, the mouse button just doesn't want to work! Why do you... <laughs> I, I do not understand. Where, where are my planes? Fly all over the, the Atlantic, please. That That's really where you should be so we can kill this giant stack. Guys, you're not even the giant stack. The giant stack's somewhere else. But that's fine. So yes, yeah, so move your troops in. Take over all these locations. 
I might have to just move with like the freaking arrow keys. Like like my goddamn caveman. So of course the Pacific States already has troops on this entire front line. Yeah, what's what's going on with this? Also, Mexico, I don't like the fact that you're losing a lot of troops. Or a lot of ground, I should say. Yeah, so draw a front line here. You guys, of course, keep on attacking if you can. Because the only major power left in the Entente... Well, I was going to say it would be the French, but it might have recalculated itself. No, it actually is still just the French. Gotta click with this. So, I mean, France isn't going to go to war with anybody anytime soon. And I'm, I really have no interest in navally invading them at all, either. Venezuela is joining the Internationale. That does give them a... I was going to say a direct front line with Brazil, but it actually does not do that. Mexico. I know you need units. Oh! So if I go, if I escape, sometimes it'll fix it a little bit. Okay, so... You guys are going to come up and around. Again, sneak, sneak around the back. It's our sneaky plan. It's oh so sneaky. Okay, you guys did unfortunately take a port. If we can take the port away from you... That would be nice. Uh, take all these regions. Thank you. More reinforcements are coming in, which is nice. So we, we should, at some point, kind of clean all this up. Also, I do have these uh, things I got to do up towards the north. Not towards the north. I mean this. Puerto Rico. Let's release an independent Puerto Rico. And then, of course, we'll release an independent Canada. Actually, do I want to? No, Manifest Destiny doesn't convert... No, it is our Manifest Destiny Annex Canada. There we go. The CSA is now properly part of our territory. Alaska! Still just hanging out over there, but of course we will want to kill them off at some point. There's one Brazilian troop just kind of hanging out there, but let's not worry about what they're uh, doing right now. You know what? We had to, we'll, I, I need to help out the French. Or help out the Mexicans. So we'll try to do something like that when we can. How many? I'm selecting all of you, yeah. Please march to this area. I mean, how many troops are left in the Entente? About, probably still less than what we have. So who, Puerto Rico, is now part of... What is that, the Puerto Rican Committee? Oh, Puerto Rican Commune. That, that makes a lot more sense. I don't know why France has this territory. Oh, they probably naively invaded it. That makes sense. Okay, so we are facing a little bit of resistance when it comes to, you know, this territory up towards the north. Which is not a big surprise. We kind of all knew this was coming. Yellow, you don't have a battle plan. And because you don't have a battle plan, I'm going to send you here with your job to push LA from the south. I think that makes a decent amount of sense. Yeah, because this now has been cleaned up. You guys are going to go down to Mexico to help them out. Because I don't want Mexico to capitulate. Because if Mexico capitulates, it does harm us. Also, like, I'm pretty sure I can upgrade you. And you don't need... Like, I don't think you need to be on a carrier. I might be wrong on that. But I don't think you need to be on a carrier to succeed. Also, I want you guys to dock. Not that um, we were really worrying. More tanks? I we have 4,000 light tanks. We should deploy some of them. Get them ready to go. Also, that is a lot of Entente troops. We are now just going to wipe out the face of the Earth. So all I'm saying is, like, Mahari Commune, this would be the time, I would say, to fight the uh, Indians. I mean, either of you, you want to fight the Dominion of India, this would be the time. And Spain doesn't have a lot of men. Max, I'm surprised that France isn't doing as well as they otherwise, I think, should be. Also, it looks like Italy did actually join the war much earlier than they did in our campaign last time. I mean, your entire front line just looks very exposed. Like, what all your how many troops do you guys have left? So I feel like you used to have a lot more than this. 46 to 101, but, like, where are they? 
Because to me, it looks like they're not really even around. Which, again, isn't a problem for me. Also, France, you got, like, no units. If that one war that can happen between, um... Uh, I want you to be very aggressive to here, and you're basically just going to spearhead your way straight into the middle of the country. You are basically going to do the exact same thing. You're going to go here and then spearhead your way straight to there. And, of course, attack whenever you actually arrive to the front. And, and right now, it, it's basically... It's not a waiting game. I don't think that's going to be the, the right terminology. But it is like a... Uh, of course... Oh, the, the glitch is already back. So it's a good thing we got a handful of things done in time. Yeah, so Rock Springs, you're almost dead. Like, don't ignore the Entente. We got a Pacific States down to 78%. Yellow Army is on their way. Oh, look, another Naval Invasion. Oh, it's Naval Invasion of the Caribbean Sea. Who cares about those guys? I mean, actually, we probably, if anything, probably want a Yellow Army to actually garrison all of our port provinces. That would actually probably be more useful. Uh, what technology do we want? Let's go for probably like a 1939 artillery upgrade. That's usually pretty good for us. You guys keep on marching way down towards Seattle. I'm, I'm just ready to win. You know what? Like, I'm just, I'm ready for us to succeed in this war. I actually, if, can I get these guys to rush their way to San Francisco? Rush their way to here and rush their way to Sacramento? If we can get these guys to go as fast as humanly possible, maybe we can see uh, something work out here. But I do think that at least for right now, this is going to be a good time for us to end this episode. So thank you everybody for watching my answer. If you enjoyed, bring a thumbs up. Nigel, you can always thumb down. You want to subscribe? And goodbye.